Hey guys, it's Michelle with Marstown TV today. We are in a brand new month. It's hard to believe it's already June, but we are here at the Hamlin County Health Department with Miss Elena to tell you guys about all the cool things they are doing. And I know you have a lot on your plate this month, so let's go ahead and talk about some stuff. So one of the main things that we are doing um, in the month of June, we are spotlighting that it is National Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Month. Well, that's cool. Well, give me an idea of what your fresh fruits and vegetables are for this month. So for the year 2022. Oh, so it's the whole year. It is. Um, we are spotlighting um, the tomato and the raspberry. Okay. Well, if somebody was curious as to where they could get some fresh, locally grown tomatoes and or raspberries, where could they go? I would suggest <laughs> they try out, try out our farmer's market. That's an excellent suggestion. Was that not a killer segue or what? Well, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the farmer's market. So they are um, open um, now and you may go there, Mm -hmm. Um, but we also have a program that is going to allow the seniors 60 and older to be able to go um, at the end of the month Mm -hmm. and um, get benefits there. Well, I know we had we had touched base on that a little bit last month, and, and I, th- I don't think you had the dates chosen. Right. So let's let's talk a little bit about the vouchers, who qualifies for this. Let's just do a little background on it. So you do have to be 60 and older. We do not have the income guidelines yet, but they are on their way. Um, and you can always call the Citizen Center, the Central Services, and the Marstown um, Housing Authority to um, check to see if those income guidelines are in. And you can pre-certi- get pre-certified there. Um, but we are doing a big kickoff on the 28th and 29th, which is a Tuesday and Wednesday at the end of this month. Um, And then the vouchers are able to be redeemed on July 1st. Um, But that is this month. So we are excited and it will be another drive through event. So we hope all of our um, seniors who qualify come out and join us on those two days. Well, you know, I know something we had talked about maybe last year or the year prior when when you did the seniors farmer market, farmers market. So what about if you have a senior who qualifies that can't come and pick up vouchers themselves? Can they designate people to get those for them? Yes, we do allow proctors to come and um, pick up those vouchers for them. Can they shop with them as well? They sure can. We just need their um, signature of the um, participant and given us uh, authority to uh, issue the vouchers to them and then they can go with them. They can go without them as long as they have that um, authority, then they can do it. That's awesome. So basically the vouchers serve as money in a sense, right? Correct. They will all get eight $5 vouchers, so it'll be $40 for them to use. Well, that's really neat. That's really neat. Well, what are some other things you guys are targeting this month here at the health department? Um, just to uh, be healthy and we're encouraging walking as much as possible but also to stay hydrated it is getting hot and it's not even technically summer yet so we do want to encourage everyone to um, to drink their water and stay hydrated yeah if the weather we've had so far is any inclination as to what it's going to be like in July and August yeah you need to load up on your water most definitely well let's talk a little bit about the dental program is that still ongoing and if somebody needs that what do they need to do They need to, um, they could come here physically to the health department. Um, It is only a certain two days, um, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, that they could come to the front of the building. But if not, they can come downstairs or call, and we can help to get them an appointment made. Um, But it is for um, non-insured people and teen care participants Mm -hmm. and then um, pregnant and postpartum moms as well. Well, you know, you touched on something, and I don't think we've ever talked about this. So, uh, you know, again, I know you have a lower entrance, and then you also have the entrance that's on Main Street. So if folks are coming to the health department, which which directions should they come? I would suggest that you um, turn in the entrance beside of the health department mm-hmm. and between the library and come down to the bottom mm-hmm. for majority of your services. Um, there's only the dental services upstairs only on those two days, but all other services such as birth certificates, death certificates, immunizations, and things like that um, all need to be down at the bottom. Okay. Well, I don't think we've ever talked about that before because, you know, I'm sure there have been instances where people have come to the front door and knocked on it and it's like, why won't they let me in? So hopefully we have cleared that up for you. Was well, there anything else you want to talk about, a website? a phone number if anybody has questions no um no website but just Mm -hmm. our um main phone number is 423-586-6431 well i know you're excited about that coming up at the end of the month at the farmer's market let's talk about that just again for another second do you know yet the times any other details about it it is going to be from eight to three and like i said it is a drive through event so they get Mm -hmm. to stay in their vehicles and we hope to just keep it moving and um everyone gets in gets their vouchers in a safely manner 
It'll be like a well-oiled machine. They'll just get them on through. It's always nice talking to you and, and to you and everybody that works here at the health department. Thank you for what you do to the community. I know people don't individually come up to you and say thanks, but I will say that to you on behalf of our friends and family with Marshtown TV Today, Channel 7. And guys, to you, thank you, as I always say, and I say it because I mean it, thank you for tuning in and finding out about things happening not only at the health department, at the library, at Rose Center, but things happening right here in your hometown. Stay tuned, friends, and we'll see you next time.